Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I am here to do a Freddy Reads video. So yes, I am finally back on track with doing these videos every week instead of every other week like I have been for the past month and a half. So, that's good, right? <laughs> Anyways, this week has been a pretty okay reading week. I've been pretty busy outside of my reading life and I'll talk about that more in next week's reading vlog. It's just been a crazy week and a half since I last talked to you guys in a Friday Reads video. But with that being said, I did manage to finish two books this week, so I'm going to jump right in. First and I managed right. to finish this week was Tales from the Shadow Hunter Academy by Cassandra Clare, Sierra Sprennan, Maureen Johnson, and Robin Wasserman. I did listen to this on audio. I will put the narrators here on the screen for you guys. This is a collection of novellas that takes place right after the events of the Mortal Instruments series, and it follows the character Simon as he goes through his training at the Shadow Hunter Academy. For me, I listened to this over the course of like a month, almost a month and a half, so it did take me quite a while to read. There was nothing really wrong with the narration. I think I was just had so many things going on at one time that I didn't really have time to focus on the audiobook itself. The narration was good. I liked all ten narrators that narrated the story. My problem was I wasn't I didn't feel fully engaged in the stories themselves. I almost feel like after finishing it almost a week ago that I should have read along in the physical book as I was listening to the audiobook and maybe that's just me. That's how I kind of felt with the Immortal Instruments at the same time as I wish I had read the physical book while I was listening. I don't know. It might have been just me but again it was just it was just an okay book for me. I gave it a three out of five stars. I originally gave it four stars but again after thinking about it for about a week I detected it down to a three. So the only other does. book I finished this week was Brightly Burning by Alexa Doan. This is an arc I got from the publisher HMH Teen who I am working with to bring you guys this book and I really really like this book. This is a YA science fiction dystopian retelling of Jane Eyre and I read Jane Eyre back in March and I was I didn't really like it but I was reading that in preparation to read this and this comes out on May 1st. This is like I said a YA retelling of Jane Eyre so if you guys are fans of the original Jane Eyre story then you would love this book because it is like almost exactly like the original story. It follows the original story perfectly. We follow a character, her name is Stella. She works on a spaceship and she is a teacher and she is invited to become a governess on a private ship known as the Rochester who is named after a character in the original Jane Eyre story. And on this ship she becomes friends with the crew and an artificial intelligence unit who feels more like a person than you know a computer animated system and then she meets a young captain named Captain Hugo and romance ensues from there. I ended up giving this a 4 out of 5 stars. I really liked it. The best way I can almost describe it is like you took Jane Eyre and mixed Star Wars and Guardians of the Galaxy and the mix and that's what you get in this book. I really enjoyed it. The author is also a YouTuber so I'll link her channel down below. Be sure to go check her out. I just started watching her videos and I think she is fantastic. So again I will link her down below and like I said I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars. Highly recommend you guys pick this up on me. Now we're going to dive into the books I am currently reading. So the first book I am currently reading I literally just started last night and that is Emergency Contact by Aaron. Mary H.K. Choi. You guys might have seen this floating around on booktube because a lot of the bigger booktubers have been doing paid promotions for this book and that's what really intrigued me to pick it up. This is also the Fruits Utopia Book Club Book of the Month for the month of April. This is YA Contemporary. It follows two characters, Sam and Penny. And Penny is fresh out of high school. She's on her way to college. She is dreaming of becoming a writer. She has everything planned out. And then we have Sam who is not in a good place. He is living on an air mattress in the same shop that he works in. And then him and Penny meet in kind of an awkward way and they exchange numbers and they kind of become each other's emergency contact. The person they can go to whenever they need somebody to talk to. I am literally on like page 12 of this and so far so good. It's a little slow but I am liking this and also can we just talk about how beautiful this I cover love is. this kind of rose gold font that the author put on the cover so I think it's really cool 
and uh, I'm excited to see where the story goes from where I am right now because again I'm only on page 12 but so the next book I'm currently reading is The Secret Mother by Solani Boland. I'm reading this for my good friend Lisa over at Books and Smiles a book club called Deadly Divas. I'll link her channel as well as the book club down below for you guys and this is a adult mystery I don't know if you could classify it as a thriller. It's kind of more on the mystery spectrum. But this follows a young woman who comes home from work one day. And then there is this mysterious boy who she's never met in her kitchen. Claiming to be her son. And that's literally all I can tell you guys. That's all you need to know. I'm not very far in. It's really good so far. The live show for this is on Saturday. So be sure to check it out on these, or I think it's actually going to be on Sarah's Night's Chance channel. So I'll link that down below as well when it goes live. But again, so far so good. Not my typical genre, but and the really only other book I'm reading right now is on audio, and that is Carrie by Stephen King, which is the chapter by chapter book club book of the month uh, for the month of April. If you guys are new to my channel, chapter by chapter is my book club I run over on Goodreads. Again, the link is down below. And this month, I decided to go with a backlist book because I've been on a huge Stephen King kick for the past few months ever since I read Mr. Mercedes back in February I'm like I want to read more Stephen King so that's what I've been doing I think I'm gonna make this a like year-long project where I try to read at least one every month but I'll I may make a separate video about that so this is actually his first novel that was ever released his first public work and I am like an hour and a half or so into the audiobook it's good not my favorite thing in the world but it is good I do like the narration so yeah and again i'll put the narrator on the screen for you guys again good so far and excited to see that, where that is everything i have read in the past week and everything i'm currently reading so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already i post new videos every monday wednesday and friday the links to any videos or booktubers i mentioned in this video will be linked down below for you guys if you guys would like to check them out along with all my social media links and with all being said i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and i will see you soon for another video thanks for watching everybody bye Thank you.